Here we go, back at it. Back house doodles. Hopefully you guys are joining in the doodles yourself. But here we go, I'm doing another one. Um, I don't know what episode we're on. So, back house doodles, what up? <laughs> um, this one is just straight off, straight off the top. Straight off the top of the dome. So I'm not referencing any drawings. This is just a uh, free flowing straight up. Um, so yeah, check it out. Um, this the underdrawing is really important because I'm just making stuff up. So he's gonna be a forearm dude. So far, so good. <laughs> oh crap! I'm spilling all my stuff on my desk. And you know we threw in that uh that monster mask bro um i don't know what animal that is i'm an idiot <laughs> a bull skull there we go Jeez, but i only gave it one eye and i wanted this fool to be fierce so you know we're giving the giving him those choppings those knives those kniffs bruh Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I mean, I know I'm not monetized or anything, but is that something I'm not allowed to say? <laughs> because they could watch my video and be like, You said, you said knife! You, you are going to YouTube jail, okay? And then I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, your channel's deleted, boy! <laughs> uh, I know people, that uh, they don't like to, uh, they like to say certain things, you know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, I noticed that his chest was a little bit too small, so we'd use a little bit of tools and pull those arms out. Made him a little more more thick. Giving him a loincloth. Yeah, I struggle with the legs. I wanted to give him tank treads for legs. <laughs> Originally, which I realized would have been a way funner drawing, but if I did that, it would just be, I think it's like a cyber demon or something. Um... From Doom. Is this Cyber Demon? I'm not going to look it up. So, But they have a monster that looks almost just like this. And I, halfway through drawing it, I probably realized I was just drawing that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but this is original, man. I, I thought the whole thing up. I didn't get any help. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, whatever. You draw stuff you like all good um but yeah you know now we're into the inking i'm not even doing backhouse doodles i'm just yabbering on um yeah i'm doing the the line work here so pretty much i did a pretty solid underdrawing that pretty much covers everything so that way when i go in on top you know, we're just flowing. We don't have to worry about nothing. Um, yeah, the swords I wanted to, like... Uh, I don't know why I drew it like that. Probably because it was easier and quicker. But, um... Is it Star Trek or something? There's some, like, nerd show about space. <laughs> Where some guy has a sword that the handles are just like that, so... It's been used. I think it'd be a trash version of a handle, but you know, if you got four arms and your buff is, then uh, you can you can hold that piece of steel and it not be a big deal. You know what I mean? So the spear, I was trying to like, I just didn't want it to be normal, normal, boring spear. And if that fool shanked you up with that, that would be terrible. Cause they'd, yeah, it'd rip you up on the way out, boy. It's not that hard. I probably should have turned the fan off. I can hear it in the background. Whoopsie, you guys aren't going to get annoyed <laughs> again. Uh, and I made the swords match because, you know, why not, man? Maybe I was thinking, um, you know, Goro? Goro from uh, Mortal Kombat? That's, that's what I drew. <laughs> he he just doesn't have his ponytail and he was wearing a mask yeah because he wears a diaper just like that too oh wow i just yeah <laughs> i 
I shouldn't point that out to everybody what my drawing looks exactly like, right? <laughs> uh, who cares? Um, yeah, he does look like Goro. He could kick Goro's trash, though. That fool don't know nothing. He can get beat by a guy who rides a bicycle in the air, and that's how he kicks you. Bicycle kick. I know he's not really riding a bicycle, but... If he gets a guy with four arms who's like eight feet tall versus a guy who's five foot two who knows martial arts and and you know martial arts and you have four arms and you're the champion and you get beat by a guy who jumps in the air and he kicks at you and the kicks look like he's riding a bicycle like it's they're just they're just going in a circle it's like getting kicked in the chest a bunch of times. And this guy, like, flies as he's kicking forward. So, you know, it doesn't make sense. But it looks cool. So, but you got four arms. He's only throwing one kick at a time. Just catch one leg. Catch the next leg. You have two other arms. You could just grab his other, grab his arms and just rip him in half. What the heck? How is that even a thing? How does this guy lose? How is he the boss? How is he the boss if he gets beat? You know, maybe Sub-Zero, I understand, winning, he freezes you. You're frozen, you're dead. It doesn't matter, because he could just smash you. Uh, Scorpion, maybe, would have a harder time. But that guy's, um, like a demon or something. He's some devil guy. And don't mind the background change. <laughs> um, the background change here is because the coloring... Um, it just wasn't coming out clean, so I just dropped the background while I was doing it. So, but yeah, he gets beat by Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage, or is it Luke Cage? Johnny Cage. Played by Johnny Cash. I mean, come on, dude. This guy sucks. So I drew a better version. If he had these swords, and if I was in control of his body, he would never lose. Okay, so vote for me for Goro, <laughs> for next Goro's Mind Champ. Um, hopefully, <laughs> uh, I didn't realize how sucky Goro is, and I didn't realize that I didn't like Goro. But so, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, thanks for even listening to this bull crap because I've just been talking about Mortal Kombat this whole time. So, um, I haven't played Mortal Kombat. I don't know, man. Since the N64, probably. I know they have a bunch of cool ones. I just never get them. They're supposed to be good, so we'll go buy them. This video is sponsored by Mortal Kombat. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That's about it, boys and girls. I know there's there's a little bit more in the video, but... That's, that's what I went with. His skin. I didn't like... <laughs> I don't like it now that it's done, but it was all good. I was pretty overdrawing. But yeah, I, th I think I made his chest look believable. I <laughs> I cut in. I'm back. I had to leave because uh, my phone was ringing and I forgot to put on silent. Um, so yeah, the skin, mm, it's all good. I mean, he's not supposed to be human, I guess. I was I wanting to give him a beard, but then I was like, ah, he could just be um, Drax, dude. That's probably what um, skin color I should have looked at a reference to uh, do. Because that would have been a cool... I mean, I would have to do a lot more textures and stuff, but, you know, whatever. Um, when I was drawing this, I was watching a video about... Uh, the guy who who's the plays in The Witcher, and he plays as Superman. I don't know his name. Um, how he likes World of Warcraft. So, I don't know. Just when I was coloring and I was watching him play World of Warcraft. <laughs> or, like, him talk about World of Warcraft. So, I kind of feel like this fits in with, like, a kind of World of Warcraft-y, like, that cartoony, um, it's not cell shaded but... So yeah, I just like that cartoony color, because it's like everything doesn't, you know, fantasy, fantasy bullcrap, so... Well, there we go. Here we go. That's, um, this is the drawing. Just take a little look right before we hit the, the quickness. 
so yeah thanks for coming make sure you comment down below um <laughs> shout out to my homie josh thanks for watching bro um peace everybody